Hi, I'm Glenn Skelton, the Wetland Landscapes Officer at Surrey Wildlife Trust, and I'm out here on a very wet, miserable day to celebrate World Wetlands Day. Now, World Wetlands Day is all about celebrating our wetlands and creating awareness around them. And I've brought you down here today to look at a wetland that was installed by between ourselves and some of our partner organisations last October. Now, you're probably thinking it looks a bit stark, and that's true, it hasn't had the chance to green up yet, but come next spring and summer, we're expecting huge things from this wetland. So let's go and have a closer look at what's going on. So we can see the Rye Brook flowing here. That flows off towards Leatherhead in that direction. And it's pretty rainy today, so flows are rather high, but that's kind of just what we want. There is actually a pipe under there somewhere. And this pops out just here. And you can see this is how the wetland is filled. Now this only takes water during uh, high flows, so it's not going to be robbing the Rye Brook of water during the summertime, but it allows those kind of flood flows to spill over into this area and it provides that extra capacity for flood storage. You'll notice that there's uh, the banks we've underneath the water there, there'll be a uh, shallow shelves on there and in the spring we're expecting plants to recolonize uh, we could have reeds, we could have um, bulrushes, etc. start to colonise here and that's when the invertebrates will start moving back. Then we'll start seeing species like birds, etc. So we're going to create a real good, rich habitat for biodiversity. So during very high flows, which we've got at the moment, you can see the wetland actually connects to the Rye Brook, which flows from here off down towards Leatherhead. Now, during these high flows, fish are able to actually leave the river and come and use the wetland give them a bit of refuge from those high flows and they can hide away there until the storm's over now as humans we're drawn to wetland areas but they're not only good for people they're also fantastic for wildlife real biodiversity hotspots really hosting a whole range of different species they create stepping stones across our landscape helping wildlife to move from one place to the other they're also really good at sequestering carbon. As climate change begins to bite, wetland features such as this are going to be more and more important. They can store floodwaters across our catchments during the wet periods, but they can also help to drip feed the river during the drier, hotter summers that we're seeing more commonly now. At Surrey Wildlife Trust, what we would like to see is resilient river catchments that are full of wetlands, full of wet woodlands that can all store water and help to drip feed our rivers over the dry months but also to help store the excess water during the wetter periods. It's only through a holistic approach to managing catchments at the landscape scale that we're going to be able to do this. So I hope you've enjoyed this small clip today to celebrate World Wetlands Day. I'm going to go back to my car now and have a nice hot cup of tea. So happy World Wetlands Day everyone.